Hello, hello, hello! Mega love shout out to all the subscribers and followers of this channel. Good morning, wherever you are, whatever you do. Have a pleasant good morning, especially to all my students and their parents. And if you are new to my channel, please... One... Subscribe. Two. Like. Share. Subscribe. Three. Like. Leave a comment, subscribe, <laughs> all right, our lesson for today is about st still on statistics the true limits of class interval and this is explained in Filipino and English right so this is for grade 7 mathematics and other statistics students for fourth quarter let us review our past lesson no? so before we had the scores of 60 students in a 30 element math Okay, so remember this class interval and the frequency. So, we know that a data represented by the table at the left where the tally marks are dropped or called group data. So, this is the group data. We call it group frequency distribution. And this table has a class interval, 10 class, 10 class interval. So, starting from... Uh, 10 to 11 and ending to the highest which is 28 to 29 and the class interval are not overlapping in order that no single item can fail into classes and the class interval 10 to 11 the lower limit is 10 and the upper limit is 11 so we know that um all the numbers here we call it lower limit and we call it as upper limit no so ul stands for upper limit okay so <laughs> i told you last time you no? but it should be ul now and these are the frequencies Okay, let's try. So, the true limits of a class interval. So, what is it? Alright. The true limits or class boundaries of a given score is the score plus or minus one half of the unit measure or the place value of the given score. Thus, the true limits of the, the, true limits of the following scores are as follows okay for example number one five no five plus minus negative five that will become 4.5 because uh five minus 0.5 is 4.5 and then you add uh 0.5 here that will become 5.5 okay so remember the plus and minus no so you subtract 0.5 doon sa lower limit at mag a ka ng 0.5 sa upper limit. No? So, yan. Ganun na yan. And then, dito naman, 5.2. So, 5.2 plus minus uh, 0.05 or magiging ano siya, yung lower limit mo ay 5.15 because 5.2 minus 0.05, that's 5.15. Then, mag a ka ng 0.05 doon sa 5. Oh, that will become 5.25. Okay, next. 
Sa 5.23, okay, so 5.23 or 5 and 23 hundreds plus minus 0.005, that will become 5.225 no, uh, or 2.35. Ah, yeah, 3 minus, kasi 3 minus 2 is equals to 1. Okay, no, and then 2, 3, 5. Wait. Okay, so for 5.23, so okay, no, 5.23, so 5.23 plus minus 0 0.005, that will become 5.225 minus, or... So, yung lower limit natin, magiging 5.225 and the upper limit is 5.235. Naintindihan nyo na ba? Okay. Questions next. So, we have here the true lower limits of group frequency distribution of 60 students in 30 element quiz where I is equals to 2. Okay. Po, yan, yan. So, remember, no, we add and subtract, no, we, we plus and minus 0. 0.5. Kaya ito, 28 minus 0. 0.5, that will become 27.5. And ito, ang upper limit mo magiging 29.5. So, remember, okay, remember, ang ginawa natin dito ay, no, so, Nag-minus tayo dito ng point, ah, uh, sorry, masyadong napalaki. We subtract negative uh, 0 0.5. No? 0 0.5. And then, at the box, dito naman sa upper limit, we plus no, 0 0.5 That's why we get this answer. So, 28 minus 0.5 is equals to 27.5 No? 0 0.5 Then, uh, 26 minus 0.5 is 25.5 24 minus 0 0.5 is 23.5 And then, 22 minus 0.5 Okay, so dito we add. So that's why 29 plus 0. 0.5 is 29.5. 27 plus 0. 0.5 is 27.5. So tama lahat yan. No? Then 23 plus 0. 0.5, 23.5. Ito kaya tama din. Alright. Correct. Correct. No? 21.5. 19.5, 17.5, 15.5, 5, 13.5, 11.5, and 9.5. Okay, so tama, no? Okay, so question. Next. So let's have an example. Give the true limits or class boundaries of the following. Kasi baka malito kayo sa hanapin yung true limit sa ibang libro. Ang sa libang libro kasi, ang tawag talaga dito ay class boundaries. Okay, for example, we have 34, 12.5, and 10.5. So, for our solution, no? Okay, yung 34, 34 plus minus 0. 0.5, that will become 33.5, and magiging 34.5. Yung 12.5, that is 12.5 plus minus 0 0.05, that will become 12.45, then 12.55. Correct. Next. Yung 10.45 plus minus magiging uh, 0, 0, 0.05, no? So, okay, so that will become 10.445, and then pag nag plus ka ng 0.005 that will become 4.555 Okay, question? 
So give the true limits or clans boundaries of the interval. So we have the birth weight of 50 Filipino males born in hospitals. Okay, so dito, no, so 134 minus 0 0.05 magiging 133. Point five. Now, yung upper limit natin, 139.5. Okay, so next, 127.5. Marami kasi nalito dito. And then, 121.5. 115.5. Tandaan nyo, nagmamayos tayo ha. 109.5 and then 85.5 Okay, next, ito Next, 109.5, 115.5, 109.5, 107.5, 91.5. Okay, so ganyan lang po ang paglagawa ng true limits or class boundaries. Alright? Okay, one. Subscribe. Two. Like. Share. Subscribe. Okay. For questions and clarifications, just write it at the comment section. Remember, gratitude is the best attitude. Okay. Please uh, subscribe and support uh, my, the new channel members. When... Uh, When a vlog, no? So, when a vlog is, andyan po ang kanyang link sa ibaba. Maraming salamat po. I love you all.